Hey guys, good Wednesday morning to you. John Bergsman here with a couple of great ice fishing reports for you. We've got Marquette and we got lots of things going up there with Captain Mike Cozier and his group of guides up in the Marquette area. Then we're gonna swing on down to the Traverse City region and talk a little bit about both burbot fishing on the lower chain as well as uh, a nice combo and of uh, pike and walleye on the Leela Lakes, Lakes chain with Kraft and Greg Alsip. I'm stumbling over myself here. Hey, stay tuned for two great reports. Hey guys, so we've got uh, Captain Mike Cozier from Marquette Adventures Guide Service. Now he's been lights out all year catching fish right from the beginning of the season to the bitter end. And unfortunately <laughs> for Mike, the bitter end is gonna be a long time from now because they have got Recold temperatures as of as of the beginning of the week. They had a brief little warm warm up, a dumping of snow, and now they've got some long range cold temperatures coming right back at them. It looks like at least two to three more weeks. So basically to the end of March, as long as you can see, the Marquette area isn't going anywhere with its ice. The burbot are moving big time under the ice. They're moving into the bay. They've been coming into the you know, the mid depth flats, the 50 to 80 foot deep flats that are adjacent to uh, deeper water, deep drop offs. And that's where they're gonna set up and get ready for their final move to the shallower flats to go ahead and spawn very near ice out or at ice out. But Mike says right now, uh, catching them pounding jigs on the bottom, pounding jig and spoons on the bottom, even on tip ups set very close to the bottom with big rosies has been lights out to catch these really tasty fish. And when I say they're coming in in numbers, guys, these are not over harvested fish up there. So Mike and his guide staff can put you on some really exciting fishing where you catch a good number of fish. Now, if you're looking to fish all day and maybe even the night, Mike says he can put you on a really nice white fish and splake bite. That's a combo day where you're catching white fish and splake during the day. Take a little break, break, maybe take a nap, go out at dark, and then go ahead and fish for a good, oh, four to six hours into the dark and get yourself some burbot. This is a really unique fishery, and Marquette is an awesome destination to go if you're an ice fishing enthusiast because this season never ends early. Mike and his guys are going to be out there, like I said, into, you know, into early April, almost certainly, and there's probably going to be ice on those lakes into late April. So... Keep on the radar with Marquette. Get a hold of Mike Cozier from Marquette Adventures. Have a fun trip. You can boat fish anytime, but how many times a year can you fish for these burbot that taste just like lobster and catch splake and whitefish at the same time? Well, it's late February to April 1. That's when it happens. It's happening right now up there in the area in and around Marquette. Hey, newly introduced here at Trax Tech for uh, 2020. This is, uh, this is a cradle, uh, hybrid cradle series that we came out with. And we have a squeeze button design on here we've had for years on one of our tube style holders. And this all used to be molded plastic. Now we've gone to an all aluminum base on here, real durable molded on the top. Got a super easy squeeze button adjustability on the side right here, one handed. So that's new to show you. And then the other really cool feature we put into this was a rack and pinion system. So it has a lever on the back side here that we can push and snap in and extend or bring our cradle back toward us inside the boat if we need to get at it. So this is our HBCS-200 hybrid cradle. Hey everybody, John Bergsman here, Fisherman's Digest. For this week's fishing report, we got an awesome ice fishing report that, you know what, in spite of the warming weathers, this is gonna hang on for a long time. We're talking to the guys up in the Traverse City area. We got two different bites going. We've got Captain Greg Olsip from Leland on Narrows talking about south and North Lake Leelanau and what's going on there. And we've got also Terry Ullman from Kick-Ass Outdoors sending us a great uh, burbot report from the lower chain of lakes. That's going to be Skegmog, Torch, Elk, lakes like that where they're doing a really good job on the burbot. So let's start with Captain Greg's report. You know, Greg owns the Leelanau Narrows Resort and um, Bait Shop. Uh, and he has been really, really having a great ice fishing season. He says the fishing on South Lake Leelanau is really heating up here in the late season. This is typical for March. He's got some open dates for some really, really good action on a combination of nice sized pike and really nice sized walleyes. So kit with Captain Greg. And here's the general report. He's catching most of these fish right now 
in the 18 to 25 foot area on South Lake. Now they're using a combination of tip ups and jig and spoons uh, tipped with a minnow. Now if you're going to use a tip up and you're going to go without a guide and you're just going to set up, set up at the either at a break, whether it's the top of the roll or the bottom of the roll, look for that 18 to 25 foot depth and you're gonna run light line fluorocarbon you know, leaders, maybe six pound test leaders to a real small number 12 hook and really, really lightly hook a shiner or uh, for walleyes, a shiner, if you can get them um, and uh, set that about oh, a foot to 18 inches off the bottom with a good size split shot right where your uh, fluorocarbon joins with whatever you're using for your main line, whether it's heavier mono or a braid. Put that split shot right there. Let that minnow or sh shiner run free. Again, 12 to 18 inches off the bottom for the walleyes. Now, if you're pike fishing, you're gonna wanna be on the top of the roll. You're gonna wanna be in that 12 to 18 foot of water and you're gonna wanna use, of course, a heavier fluorocarbon leader, maybe up to you know, 12 pound, 12, 14 pound test. You can still go small with the hook, a, a number 12 or a number 10, but you're gonna wanna go ahead and do a bigger sucker minnow on that to really get it down there. Same thing, 12 inches to a foot and a half off the bottom works great. Um, and then set a spread of tip ups. Remember in Michigan, you can do three rods a piece. So you can be jigging in your shack or on the ice if it's nice enough, and you can still have a couple of tip ups out for yourself. One targeting walleye, one targeting pike. So if you're out with a group of several people, as you see, you can really cover a lot of water. Now, Captain Terry tells me that he's doing really good on the burbot and he's fishing the lower chain. So he's fishing skegamog or elk or torch, and he's targeting the 70 to 100 foot depth flats that are adjacent very next to very deeping or dropping water. Uh, those uh, burbot have been really active. This is normal for this time of year. The burbot get really active under the ice in the month of March. And as they prepare to, to come right up at ice out and spawn immediately. So you're gonna see a lot of nice burbot pictures going across your screen. Um, and, and I'm telling you what guys, if you've never fished for burbot, you gotta give this a try. The fish, the meat is white and flaky and wonderful to eat. Uh, it's a really underutilized uh, resource here in Michigan. Now, you're pounding the bottom with jig and spoons with a minnow head, sometimes even a second minnow head or a full minnow on it. But the key is to pound the bottom and make sure that you're attracting those fish in. Once you mark them, if you stay patient, you should be able to catch them. Hey, you know what? There's a lot of great ice fishing is gonna happen here in the next month. You just have to push north and uh, stay on safe ice. Check out with a guide, but whatever you do, get out on the ice today. I think you're gonna enjoy it. Freeway Sports Center is Southeast Michigan's fishing boat headquarters. Freeway carries the full line of Angler Quest fishing pontoons and Polar Craft boats, powered by Honda outboard engines. Stop by our showroom today at US 23 and Thompson Road in Fenton, or visit us online at freewaysports.com. Spring, summer, fall, or winter, get to Freeway Sports Center.